What I know for sure is that AM5 Zen 4 processors and this 6900 XT by XFX are amazing together. Again, best computer I've ever owned. Now listen, I know you're probably thinking, look, this guy's got to be biased. The name of the channel is AMD Ryzen Enthusiast Group. So here's what I'll tell you. I'm not a fanboy, all right? I'm a consumer like you. I want value. This has value. There's an argument right now that I'm seeing a lot on social media about AM5 is expensive and it's not a good value. Well, I disagree with that and I'm going to tell you why. And this is probably a hot take, but I don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. It has longevity. If you're an enthusiast like me, longevity means a lot more to me than being able to save a hundred bucks now today and then two years from now I got to buy a new motherboard because like Intel for example just came out with their 13th gen processors as I was finishing this up and that's the last chips that'll ever fit their Z690 and Z790 motherboard. That's the dead end socket. It's only two generations and that's it. It's gone. Two and done. That's how Intel does it. Okay. So what I'm thinking about is what's my cost up front versus what am I going to have to spend later? So here's what I'm not going to have to do again in a year or two years whenever I decide to upgrade the CPU or even this GPU. I'm not going to have to buy another motherboard. I'm not going to have to buy another set of RAM. If I can keep this motherboard for three years and then put another processor in it, and then you go and you buy, you know, an Intel 13th gen processor today. When you go to buy your next PC in three years, let's say, you know, you do and I do, I get a free motherboard. I get free RAM. You don't. You don't. So when I start to look at it like that, in that I'm not going to have to worry about a board or RAM for a future upgrade. Well, for a person like me, that value is there. Because even if it costs me a little bit extra right now, I've got the longevity. And not just that, I can sell that CPU and that CPU is going to have decent resale value because the platform still supported. The reason that it's a hard sell for a lot of people to jump on the AM5 platform is because we've kind of been spoiled. We've had the AM4 platform since 2017, March of 2017. That's well over five years. That is a legendary amount of time for a single socket. That's just unheard of in the PC community. Anybody who's been around for a while knows that. That's not normal. Um, and they, and what's really amazing to me is that AMD committed publicly and I believe them. I have to take them at their word now because they proved it to me with AM4. They originally said the AM4 would only be supported through at least 2020. Here we are in 2022 and they just moved off that socket and they're still kind of supporting it. I mean, they just came out with the 5800 X3D early in the year and you know, it's not like they're not still, and they're still selling CPUs for it. So they, they committed that for the AM5 platform that it's going to have a similar lifespan to the AM4 platform. I have no reason not to believe that. What I know for sure is that that means I'm going to have at least an opportunity to upgrade a couple more times on this motherboard before I have to worry about this hardware not supporting the newest, latest, greatest CPUs. So, you know, when we talk about bang for your buck and speed, I really think this is where it's at.